بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر محمد عدنان ورکنگ ایز اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر ان دا ڈپارٹمنٹ آف فزکس گوہاٹ یونیورسٹی آف سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی آئی ویلکم یو ٹو دی کورس پی ایچ وائی 352 نیوکلیئر فزکس 1 ٹوڈے اٹ از دی 16th لیکچر آف دس کورس اینڈ دی ٹاپک از نیوکلیئر پیریٹی First, I will give the learning objectives. At the end of this lecture, the student will understand the concept of nuclear parity and uh, they will also know how the nuclear parity is related with the electric and magnetic properties of the nucleus. That is, in the last two lectures, we have discussed the, uh, the electric quadrupole moment and the magnetic Uh, uh, magnetic moment of the uh, nuclei and this parity can be used to label various uh, uh, energy states uh, uh, inside the nucleus. In this course uh, we are following the book uh, Introductory Nuclear Physics by Kenneth S. Crane, uh, third edition. In this lecture, uh, I have taken some of the illustrations from this book. Okay. Uh, in addition uh, to the magnetic and electric properties, uh, as we have discussed in the last two lectures, nuclei have certain properties uh, which are not uh, obviously physical in nature, uh, but they are handy to label the various energy uh, states or we can say nuclear states uh, 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 based on the shell model that we will discuss. Uh, among uh, those uh, uh, properties, the, the parity is uh, one of them. So to a good approximation, we know that the, the wave function of a nucleus uh, may be expressed as a product of a function of the space coordinates and a function depending only on its spin orientation. So we will link the parity with respect to these parameters but at the end we will conclude that there is no theoretical uh, uh, justification between the spin and the parity but uh, they, there is a link. So. Uh, One can say that the motion of the nucleus is said to have even parity if the spatial part of its wave function is unchanged when, when the spatial coordinates such that x, y, z as I told you that the wave function for a nucleus uh, can have two parts that is it depends upon the spatial coordinate and the function depending upon the spin orientation. So if the the space coordinates x, y, z are replaced by minus x, minus y and minus z or in another word that is we replace r by minus r that is reflection of the nucleus so that if the, the, the spatial part or we can say if we change these uh, space coordinates and the wave function is unchanged so then uh, the, the motion of the nucleus is said to have even parity. Now, when the reflection changes, the sign of the spatial part of the wave function, that is, if we just uh, replace x, y, z by minus x, minus y, and minus z, uh, and then with that, the spatial part of the wave function changes the sign, then that the nucleus is said to have odd parity. So, this parity, uh, as we have discussed, uh, is one of the aspects of the various nuclear state. Uh, which is a nice way to uh, label various nuclear states. The, so that parity of the various states, or we can say nuclei, can have uh, even or odd uh, value. That is even parity or odd parity, depending upon uh, whether uh, the 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 spatial uh, uh, the wave function 
uh, the part of that wave function which depends x, y, z uh, changes uh, its sign by replacing x by minus x, y by minus y, and z by minus z. So if the, the if the wave the spatial part of its wave function does not change, so uh, then the parity will be even. And if it does change the sign, so the parity will be odd. So that is if we just uh, describe it uh, through this wave function, uh, the part of the wave function which depends upon x, y, z, or we can say r. If it is uh, the same wave function, that is the same plus sign, if we just uh, uh, replace the coordinates r by minus r. So then, as we have said, that this will be have an even parity wave function. Now, as an example, if we have a function, uh, a wave function cos kx, so that if we just uh, put uh, this psi minus uh, x, so that if we just put minus x over here, so we know that cos is an even function, so this will be having even parity. So that if we have a, a for the odd uh, parity, if we have a function and we configured in a way that is r is minus r now, so that it yields minus uh, sign with the same function, so that it possesses that odd parity. As an example, if we just replace this cos by sine, so we know that uh, this will be having an odd parity. In terms of the potential, wave potential, if we have V affects some kind of square potential, half kx square, so that uh, this is an even parity wave potential. And if we have uh, this, uh, you can say the uh, linear potential, uh, that is the potential uh, increases with x uh, linearly so that uh, by a factor half kx so that uh, the the potential or uh, we can say the wave potential is having odd parity so in this way uh, one can uh, work out for the parity of the various nucleuses so uh, using the these definition of the parity uh, uh, how one can uh, 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 describe the parity of various uh, energy states. So the parity of the energy state uh, uh, denoted by the symbol pi. So this pi represents the parity of the uh, states. Uh, I told you that uh, uh, here we are just uh, discussing uh, these various technical uh, aspects of the nuclei, that is quadrupole moment, uh, magnetic moments, uh, uh, parity of these various nucleuses, and then after the shell model, we will be uh, calculating uh, these aspects of various nuclei. So, the parity of a state is determined uh, determined by the orbital angular momentum quantum number. That is uh, uh, this parity pi for any nuclei or you can say the, the various states is described by this minus 1 to the power L. That is this L is if you remember uh, the, the lecture number 13 or 12 I think there we have discussed these quantum numbers. So, uh, this L represents the orbital uh, uh, quantum number and uh, which labels the various substates uh, in a given uh, energy level. So, with this, all the energy levels uh, will be described through the parity. So, a quantum state of a nucleus is defined by the parity its energy and the total angular momentum of the constituent nucleons J written conventionally by this expression. This J is the total angular momentum if you remember having parity J so that J can be calculated by this. So in this way uh, we can link if you remember uh, the objectives of this lecture to understand the concept of parity and also how it is linked with these 
uh, properties, uh, various properties of the uh, um, uh, of the nucleus. Uh, so that in that way, uh, one can calculate. So, for example, the nucleus of mass number a with the last proton in the state with L is equal to 2, that is, uh, when L is equal to 2, so it corresponds to uh, D state, so its parity is even. That is, if you put just L is equal to 2 here, so that uh, this pi for L is equal to 2 will be even, because this will be uh, positive. Now, uh, while for the neutron in the last state, uh, so the last state is there with L is equal to 3 as odd parity, just put uh, 3 over here, so this will give a minus sign here, so that parity can have plus or equal to plus or minus. Uh, on the coming slide, we'll be describing as an example how uh, one can describe these even and odd parity based on the definition we have discussed. So with L is equal to 3, the neutron are lying with L is equal to 3, so that state will be having odd parity. Since uh, in this uh, example or in this statement, it is given that the last state is L is equal to 3. So when L is equal to 3 means the, the parity of that nucleus is therefore odd because the last uh, uh, level is L is equal to 3 so that way one can calculate uh, the parity of the nucleus. Now, the electric uh, moment and the magnetic moment, as we have discussed, the electric quadrupole pole moment and the uh, magnetic moment of the nuclei are also linked by the parity. So in this way, uh, one can describe uh, the various electric moment, that quadrupole pole moment and magnetic moment by this, where uh, these L, the capital L, is not the total angular momentum, but rather it is defined as order of the moments. That is, if you remember the last lecture, we have discussed the, the zeroth order moments, the first order moment, the second order moment. The zero order moment corresponds to the monopole. So in this way, you can work out one means the dipole. Since in nucleus, we don't have any dipoles. So this is not in our discussion. And with L is equal to two means the quadrupole moments. So in this way, they are linked uh, with the parity. So, with the following restriction, that is, uh, the, the magnetic and the uh, electric dipole, of, you can say the quadrupole moments are linked uh, with the parity, but there are few restrictions, or we can say all odd parity multiple moment must vanish, while only electric quadrupole and magnetic dipole remains, as we have discussed in the previous lectures. So, in conclusion, uh, we can say that uh, along with the nuclear spin, parity is also used to label nuclear states. Along with the nuclear spin, the intrinsic uh, angular momentum associated with the, with the fermions, that is nucleons, proton, and neutron, parity is also used to label nuclear states. The parity can take either plus, that is even, or minus values. Uh, and if we know the wave function of every nucleon, we would determine the nuclear parity by multiplying together the parities of all the uh, of all, of each of the nuclear a ending uh, with the result pi that is we describe the parity by pi and that will be either plus or minus so if you want to calculate for a total number of nucleons a so we need to multiply the parity of all the that is the uh, parity of all nuclei means the 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 wave function, uh, the space part of the wave function, uh, whether that is plus or minus. So in this way, uh, if you remember on the previous slide, we have discussed that this parity, this parity pi is equal to minus 1 to the power L. So if we just uh, multiply all the parity of the nucleon, so in this way it can be either give us a, a plus sign or a minus sign. So you can describe it 
in this way as well in the conclusion however in practice no such procedure is possible that is to find out the the parity of each nucleons and then uh, you need to multiply it for a general for we generally cannot assign a definite wave function of a known parity to every nucleons so like this pin i which is the intrinsic uh, uh, angular momentum we regard the parity pi as an overall property of the whole nucleus that is uh, the, the generally we say that uh, this this nuclei is having uh, spin uh, 0 spin 1 or 2 so in that way uh, instead of talking about the individual nucleons we'll be talking about the 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 parity of uh, overall nucleus it can be directly measured uh, using using a variety of techniques of nuclear decays and uh, reaction. So uh, uh, the parity is denoted by a plus or minus superscript to a nuclear spin. That is, if we are describing a nucleus uh, by its spin and also the parity, so gen generally we can write i to the power uh, pi where this pi represent the parity and this i represent the intrinsic spin of the nucleus so as an example as i told you this zero uh, uh, in the superscript plus representing a nucleus having spin equal to zero and parity uh, even parity for example this nuclei uh, is having a total spin equal to two and having a uh, an, uh, an odd parity. For example, this is having half uh, for, let's say, for a state, half, and then uh, that state is having uh, a parity equal to odd. There is no direct, as uh, in, in the beginning, I told you that there is no direct theoretical relationship between uh, the intrinsic spin of the nuclei and the parity of the nucleus. Uh, for any value of i, it is possible to have either uh, even parity or odd parity. So, uh, with these fundamental properties of the nucleus, uh, uh, the magnetic moment, the spin, the quadrupole moment, and the parity, uh, after shell model, we'll be describing how one can label the various nuclear states using these uh, handy uh, procedures. So with this, uh, I thank you for your time.